Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today it's the 2005 Kansas State Quarter number 34 in the United States State Quarter Series. Kansas which became a state in 1861 as you can see up here and on the back or reverse is the bison and you'll see that uh, 2005 started the year or maybe the two years of the bison in United States coins. We see the bison on the Plains in Kansas here, American bison looking uh, toward us a little bit to our right. Over here we see these beautiful flowers, and those are sunflowers, uh, the state flower of Kansas. This design on the back is a Norman E. Nemeth design, and down here you can see it, the N-E-N -E down here, Nen, and he's done a number of U.S. coins and just does a great job on them. We tipped this up on its side. We see it's a copper nickel clad copper. Uh, this um, is also made in a silver proof version. We'll take a look at that later. We get onto the front, and this is the side where you're going to find any errors if there are any. And uh, on the front here, we see it says United States of America at the top. These are really hard coins to. Um, too light for some reason and so we're going to work on the lighting as we go and tip it back and forth. United States of America at the top, uh, Liberty here, and God we trust here. There's a D there for Denver. At the Denver Mint in 2005 they made 300 million of these. They also made this in the so-called satin finish for uncirculated mint sets. Um, we won't look at one of those uh, because it's pretty similar to this one. This is a, a really, really good um, shape version, a little bit dirty, but uh, you'll notice that there aren't any scratches or anything else in it. It's acquiring a little bit of a patina. If we go way down underneath here, we can see the engraver's initials for the front of the coin. And that's John Flanagan, the JF, who originally designed his coin in 1932 in honor of George Washington's 200th birthday. And then right next to it is William Cousins, who did kind of the remake design to change this over from the old quarters uh, when they first started coming out in 1999. So we have the Denver Mint here. Here we have the Philadelphia Mint. And remember, quarters have uh, the mint marks on them for the P. If we tip this one up again, same thing. Um, now, let's look on a Philadelphia coin. This one has just a great patina forming, doesn't it? Um, Everything's pretty much the same. You look at this coin, you say, geez, it's a little misty or cloudy. A lot of collectors love this kind of patina that comes forward on the coins. The error on this coin, if you can find it, the big error, unless it's a, uh, a mint striking error, which there are some mint striking errors, and PCGS has one that sold for three or $400, uh, that was an offset error. Uh, these coins are not hugely valuable. At MS65, you might be talking five bucks. Um, at MS67, you might be talking 15 or 20. You can only get into the hundreds at MS68. And some of these, uh, PCG has a, ha, PCGS has 12 or more that they've found at MS68. Um, but here's where the error is. See where the G and the TR and the In God We Trust you can find some coins that don't have the G or the T, or you can just barely see them. It's uh, it's called a, a struck through error, or the, essentially they kind of missed. Um, and so it, it'll say, in odd we rust some of them. The G is gone and the T is gone. If you tip them back and forth, you can see the G and the T, but um, they those are the ones that, that I look for whenever I look through these coins. So let's look through some 2005s and see if we see anything on them. Uh, nothing here. Pretty good, God we trust. Pretty good one there. Great one there, it's, even though it's the coin's not in great shape. No problem there, and nothing there. So we don't have any, but a little bit of a funny T there, but that's not going to... T and ER, they're a little off, but that's not going to get us anywhere. All right, so let's look at the, oh, look at this. Well, I don't know if you can tell that um, which one this is, because I'll show you the other one, too. So one of these, these are both San Francisco Mint coins. 
Uh, this one here on the left is the San Francisco Mint. They made 3.262 million of these. This is probably a proof 65 or above. Um, it's worth about two to three dollars because they sold them in the uh, sets. If we look at the back of these, oh my gracious, you, you can see a really, really good American bison on the back of these coins. They just come right through. This coin here, this actually is what happens to silver sometimes. And so it's kind of a, a saved coin, a little bit of oxidation. So this is the silver one, of course. We tip it up on its side and you can tell that that's a silver one. Now I said that um, the year, I said 2005, the year of the American bison. Why did I say that? Well, it turns out that that's also the year that they put out the Lewis and Clark bison nickel. Let's see if they can get these bison together. So the Lewis and Clark expedition, 2005, they also put an American bison on that one. This is the so-called speared bison, which sometimes has a spear going through it. In, and so that in 2005, both of these came out. I'll show you the 2005 on the front of this. So the uh, nickel had a bison on it. The Kansas coin had a bison on it. And then a year later, guess what came out? The North Dakota coin. And guess who was on the North Dakota coin? An American bison. 2006, 18, 89. So this one's coming. All right, what other coins did they put out in 2005? Uh, well, they put out course the California coin, the Minnesota coin, the Oregon coin, the Kansas coin, and the West Virginia coin. So West Virginia will be next, number 35 on the list. And thanks for watching DC Coin World International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.